It is nice though. Just a brother. I mean, he was my best friend. We we used to talk all day about cars, about our dreams, and and about our goals. Um, you know, we we all had full time jobs. I I was in, I'm engineering. Um, I work in Lafayette. He used to work manage at AT and T, and and you know we we were dedicated to this. Uh, Sour Custom Shop, Tucson Customs. Um, you know, even after our full time jobs, we come here. We pretty much just work, work until our girlfriends made us come home. Uh, it's a lot of good memories. I, I have no regrets. I have no regrets. If if you knew my brother, you knew about his Mustangs, about I mean, everything we've driven or everything. You know, we, we ride in everything that we own. We we customize it, you know. We love it. We love... We... we it's, it's, it's just a passion. A lot of times you can't really explain why you're so passionate about something. Um, you know, it's pretty crazy. I, I love the looks on people's faces when I finish the job. I love, you know, just the look on kids' faces, especially when we go somewhere and we're driving something with a crazy paint job. Everyone's taking pictures. Everyone, you know, is just living in the moment and enjoying it. Um, it's, it's, it's that feeling along with, you know, just loving doing the actual work. You know, we were big on quality. Everything we did, we made sure, you know, that we wanted like that, that it'd be acceptable for us. You know, we, we're perfectionists. And so, you know, I, my brother passed away in a car accident. He, he was actually in his 5.0 Mustang. Uh, we had Plasti Dip Dak Chameleon, a chameleon color. Um, and, you know, we we did the speaker system. We, we did a lot to that car. Uh, and, I felt that, you know, I had to do this. It, the, the, the hardest thing so far that I've ever faced in life was losing my brother. The second hardest thing was actually painting and customizing his, his casket. But it was something I had to do. Like I said, we everything we rode in was custom. And you know this this is his this is his ride so i did a two-tone chameleon job um, the front is one color chameleon back is this next and it's just faded into fade, faded into itself um, says rest in peace mustang mike my cousin chris Help me with with the vinyl and everything, um, and it has two side cousins at the bottom. I didn't want to go extravagant, you know. I, I thought about putting Ford Mustang symbols everywhere, but my brother always said, you know, don't overextend yourself, because I, I have a bad habit of that. You know, I, I'll work on one job and just perfect it, perfect it for hours, and not realize time is escaping. Um, so I took his advice and I, I did what I thought, you know, he'd want, what I thought he'd want me to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm very proud at how it came out. 
and you know it, it really it really meant a lot to me. And I want to thank Wesley Funeral Home for allowing me to do this because you know they they let me they delivered this to me. Uh, and and I don't have a big shop. We 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 didn't have much. We we did some nice and high profile jobs because of the quality. When people see the quality, you know it doesn't really matter what what it looks like on the outside is. You know, we, we perfected everything. We went sand above everything. I went sand and above his casting. I mean, we, you know, that's that's the level of detail. So we didn't have much. I'm just happy that they were able to deliver it and, and they let me they let me do this. Uh, you know, because normally, you know, companies are trying to charge you everything up front. And of course, you know, I, I wasn't in the financial position to do that at the time. Uh, the paint. They, the uh, guys at NCS, uh, National Coders and Supply on Greenwell, they actually donated the color to me. They actually donated, uh, they donated the paint. Um, it's all RM, RM Chameleon products. Um, so I, I just, I, I, I've had a lot of people show their support. And I definitely appreciate that. Because um, it, it is a hard time. I've come to terms with it. And yeah, of course, I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be sad. Uh, I'm going to think about it a lot. I mean, he, he was, we, were, we were that close. We were, we were inseparable. So I'm going to think about it a lot. I'm going mean, to you know, have ups and downs. But it's not because I haven't accepted it. It's not because I can't move on. Uh, with the shop and go forward because I know that's the only thing he would want more than anything. Um, at this point, I'm confused. I don't know, you know, how things are gonna work um, as far as time because I'm still full time, um, you know. And without his help, without his support, he did all the electronics and, and things like that. We both shared the same passion, so we both knew how to do pretty much everything, but. You know, without his help, it's going to be a little tough at the start. So, you know, the next couple of months, the next month or so, I'm going to just, you know, work on organization management. So, you know, I hope you guys understand. If I can, you know, get to all of the jobs, I hope you're willing to wait. It's, it's definitely worth the wait. I tell everyone that. Uh, we're never, you know, fast on getting jobs in and out. Because we, we put everything into it. So it's definitely worth the wait. You know, I thank you for your support. Thanks for all the people who, who reached out to me to show their condolences, to you know, keep our family in your prayers. That's all we can ask. Uh, we are all very religious, and, and I know he's in a better place. Um, I have no regrets. Um, God needed to take him. My brother was an angel. I truly believe that, and God needed to take him. He took him as, as peaceful as he could. I, I had no regrets for him. I had no regrets for our relationship. So I'm going to leave you with um, an outside view of the casket and kind of take you around the top so you can really see the color. So definitely appreciate your time. Rest in peace, Mustang Mike. I love you.